Well, hello there. How is everybody? I hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I did too. Spending with friends and family and also with my seniors. Yeah, I do meals for seniors. I've been doing that since 2009. And it's about nine seniors that I prepare meals for. I'm the baby. I'm 73. And the oldest senior is 91 years young. So I did some homemade yeast rolls. I had a little bit of dough left. And so I said, you know what? I'm just going to make a little short video on how I'm going to knead it just a little bit because the dough is already put together. I just got to make the remainder of it in rolls. So I'm going to knead it just a little bit. I'm going to get them panned. And then they're going to rise up and I'm going to bake them off, okay? All right, so let me take you right on over here and uh, lower this down here a little bit. Now, what I do, is, what I did was I always um, put my dough. Oh, let me make sure you guys see that. My dough in these little uh, containers. And this is actually an ice cream container. One of the seniors, uh, she loves ice cream. So she saves these uh these little buckets. And so I have several of them that she has given me and I use them for different uh, things. So I end up using uh, this little bucket for the remainder of my yeast dough that I had made some yeast rolls out of. Now, this is how I packaged it. Uh, I made this dough Wednesday, Wednesday evening for, for Thanksgiving. And I, I uh, put it in gallon bags. Oops. Hope you, hope you can see that. Let me make sure you see that right quick here. Okay. And uh, I wrapped it with aluminum foil. And, uh, oops, it's busting already. It's, the yeast is still alive and well, right? <laughs> and I end up putting it, uh, wrapping it in... Um, uh, parchment paper. So I'm going to try to get this parchment paper off of here. Oh, you know what? I love the smell of yeast. I really, really do. Woo See that? Look at that. Look at that. It's pulling away. Uh -uh. Yeah, just pulling that away from the parchment paper. Just like so. Yeah, it's kind of like stuck on here really good, but I'm going to make sure I don't get any parchment paper mixed up in, in, in the dough here. Yeah. So let me just go ahead and pull this on apart. Whoop. I got a little bit left on there, but that's okay. We don't need that. That's kind of stuck to the parchment paper. All right. That's my, that's my yeast dough. Smells so good. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lightly just kneel it just a little bit, get it back together here. Now, this has been in the refrigerator. So right now it's it's a little cold, but that's okay. The yeast is still active. It's very active right now. Let me make sure because I want you guys to actually see what I'm doing here. Uh, let's see if I can lower this down. Okay, great, great. So I go in and I just ne just knead it. Just like so. Such a beautiful, beautiful dough. Can you see that? That is so beautiful. Okay, so now this is what I'm going to do. Let me move this stuff out the way here. And this as well. And I have my scale. This is my scale. And it's not an expensive one. Matter of fact, I've had this for, oh my gosh, some years. I don't even know if they still even make uh, a scale like this here. But I have used it over the years, and I know it's about 15 years old, or, or maybe a little older, okay? So each one of my uh, dough pieces that I am going to um, cut off here are going to weigh in at two ounces, okay? So I'm going to, should have enough for at least 12, uh, a dozen, a dozen uh, yeast rolls. So I go in and I just cut it off like this here and I put it on my scale. So that's about, oh, let me see here so I can actually see. Okay, let me put that right on site there. I thought I had it directly. I 
Okay, I'm going to put it right there. So, yep. That's about two ounces right here. So I'm going to do 12 of these. Yeah. I hope everybody's Thanksgiving was wonderful. I know mine was. And being with my being with my girls, my seniors, I tell you, they're so funny. They're so funny. I just love them. I um, have been doing meals for seniors, like I said, since 2009. And during that time, I, I had to stop uh, because I... I'm a breast cancer survivor, and that's when I was diagnosed with uh, breast cancer was in 2009. And so after the Lord blessed me and healed me and everything, I started back uh, doing meals for seniors. And I'll tell you one thing, it has been more than just a joy. It has been so much fun, you know, and... Uh, I'm still loving it. Yeah. So they had a real nice Thanksgiving. We had everything. We had um, the turkey, the dressing, the cornbread dressing. And of course, we had the yams, you know, just the typical uh, Thanksgiving Southern, uh, Southern, Southern uh, meal. And it was just wonderful. We fellowshiped. We, we just talked and we sang and we we just we just had a good time, and uh, they talked about back in the day, you know. Uh, and a lot of these seniors, their children, uh, some of them, they they have outlived their their children. Then we've got some seniors whose kids have grown, and they you know they're grown, of course, and they've moved away, and they have their their families now. But not to say they've neglected their their. Uh, their mom. It's nothing like that. It's, uh, you know, it's their, you know, they come and they check on them and visit them. And, but you know, they got their families too. So, but thank God, you know, uh, oh, I brought them into my fold and more so they have brought me into theirs. So we're just one happy little group here. Christmas will be coming up pretty soon. And you know what? And I want to thank you guys so much for um, watching my videos. And they've seen the videos. They just love them. Oh, my goodness. They've had so much fun watching my videos, you know. They're such a fun group. But uh, Christmas is coming up. And I would uh, like to ask uh, my viewers, if you are sending out cards or, uh, you know, because I, I love to send out cards too, but I have a P.O. box and I would love if you, if you would send me some cards and I want to share those cards with my seniors because uh, they would just love to just uh, to see those cards and just to read them and just have a good time. Now, there are some, like I say, that have outlived their children. And that would be such a treat for them. So if you don't mind, if you go in my description um, box and you'll see uh, in my in my description and you'll you'll find my uh, P.O. box. I would just love if you guys would just send some Christmas cards and uh, write some little right inside of it, some little notes for my seniors and I can share that with them, it would just be such a blessing. Okay, all right. Well, let me get on back to what I'm doing here. Yeah, okay, let's see here. How many? Oh, yeah. So all of these here are two ounces, right? And I have, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, let's see, three, six, nine. 12, 3, 6, 9, 12, well, 13, 14. So I've got 14. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how I make, I turn this dough into balls. Okay. I slam it down just like that to get the air out of it, out of, out of the dough. And then I just take my hand. I start off like this here, like you're grabbing a uh, hold of something and you come down on it. And you just hold on to it and you just 
go around just like this here and bring your fingers in when you're going around. You're cuffing that dough into a, a ball. And I have, and I'm going to be using a pie, a pie pan here. Well, I'll let you see, see it in just a few minutes. And I just roll it, get it nice and smooth. Now my uh, pipe, uh, not my pie pan, I'm sorry. My muffin tin has already been uh, oiled with a little bit of canola oil in each one. And I just pop them in there just like so. Yep. Slap them down on the, on the counter and just roll them. You got to got to put some elbow uh some elbow pressure when you're rolling these out because you want them nice and smooth, right? Yeah, yeah. So, uh what did you guys have for your Thanksgiving? Did you just have the traditional? Did you do anything different like that white potato pie? Did you check out my video? Oh, so many people have checked out my video. I hope you guys checked it out too. And I hope you guys, the ones that did check it out, I hope you were inspired to um, to make it. Yeah, I bet it was a conversation piece, wasn't it? And if you didn't, do it for Christmas. Do it for New Year's or just do it. Just do it for any occasion or just because, you know, just because. Yeah. So I'm getting these here all panned up. Yeah. I just love doing what I do, you know. And if you love doing what you do, you don't mind doing it, do you? <laughs> I know I don't. <laughs> I know I don't. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm just about there. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to put those other, I'm going to have... Uh, Two left over, I believe. I believe I'm going to have two left over, and I'm going to put them probably in a little pan right next to each other and let those uh, rise too as well. Yeah. Nothing smells any better than homemade yeast rolls. I tell you, I love what I do. And I hope you guys, you know, I hope you guys one day uh, try this, you know. I'm going to do a video on how I put my uh, yeast, how I, how I do my yeast dough. And uh, that way you guys will, uh, will hopefully want to try that. Can you see that? Can you see my dough balls? Yeah. My yeast dough balls, yeah, that's going to turn into some delicious yeast rolls. Now, I want to set this right here. And this is how I do mine. Uh, I'm going to put mine inside of my oven. Now, my oven is not on, but you want to place, some people will put their, um, their dough, they'll sit it, on, their, on top of their stove, or they'll put a, a, a towel over it or whatever. You know, that's what some people do. But me, I'm going to put mine inside of my oven. And my oven has not been on at all, but it is my, my yeast dough will be, it will be uh, safe from the drafts that's in the kitchen. So that's what I'm going to do. Put these in here. And it'll probably take... Oh, maybe, I don't know, maybe 20, 30 minutes to, to rise. But you know what? I'm going to get back with you guys as soon as my yeast rolls come to a risen uh, stage. And then we're going to go from there. Okay. I'll see you guys in just a second. Okay. Well, okay. Believe it or not, it took longer than... <laughs> 35 or 25 minutes, I tell you. I'm getting ready to take these out of the oven from uh, rising up, okay? Haven't baked them off yet, but oh my goodness. I'm going to tell you what I should have done was this here. I should have gotten up early this morning and, have, and should have taken these out 
of the oven before um, 30 minutes before I decide to bake them, right? I mean, you should have taken them out of the uh, refrigerator and set them on the stove, you know, for at least the biggest part of the morning before I decide to take it out and, and uh, make my uh, balls out of them. By that time, they would have gotten to room temperature, but I didn't do that. So I, that was my fault. Okay. So I'm going to show you after being, oh, oh Lordy, after being sitting in my oven, which was not heated at all for the last three hours, this is the outcome. They did double in size, but oh my goodness, it seemed like it took forever. You see that? Uh, uh, make sure you you see that. Yeah, they did double in size, but my goodness, seemed like it took forever. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to preset my oven to 400, okay? And once it reached 400, I'm going to put my rolls in, back into the oven and let them bake for about 20 minutes, and then we'll take them out, okay? All right. Well, I will be back when I'm ready to pull these babies out of the oven. Okay, hold on. Okay, all righty. Before, uh, before I put my rolls, my yeast rolls into the oven, I'm going to do a egg wash right on top of the, the rolls. And this gives them a real pretty brown and a sheen and a shine to the top of the yeast rolls. And then after they bake for 20 minutes, as soon as I take them out, then I'm going to um, spread butter on top. So yeah, just gonna go ahead and do this egg wash right quick. Put these cuties into the oven and I will see you in about 20 minutes, okay? All right. All righty. Just taking these rolls out. It only took about 15 minutes. So anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. It all depends on your oven, okay? Let me turn that off. And yeah, can you see these here? This is what they look like. Hopefully you guys can see that. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful yeast rolls. Man, I tell you. Oh, this has been a moment in time. You hear me? But it's a good yummy moment. So I've got some melted butter here. You notice the sheen and shine from the egg white? Yeah. So beautiful. Puts a nice shine to your yeast rolls. And I'm going in here and I'm just buttering them up really, really good. Yeah. I can't wait. I can't wait to just open up one right quick and put some butter in it and just, woo. All right. I hope you guys make some of these yeast rolls. Um, I'm going to come back with the video and I'm going to show you how I put my dough together. But maybe you guys already uh, make your own yeast rolls and that's a good thing too. Now this would be good for, your up, for the upcoming uh, holiday, which is Christmas. Yeah, Christmas and New Year, New Year's to have some some delicious fresh yeast rolls. Yeah, sitting at the the dining room table. Oh yeah, I'm talking about some good eating. Okay, now this is what I'm going to do here. Turn the rolls uh, out the way here, and I'm going to take these out so you can actually see. Can you see that? Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Yeast rolls. Oh boy. I want you to be able to see that. Yeah, I'm just going to take them out. And that's what you need to do. As soon as you take them out of the oven, put them on a rack. That way they're able to, they'll be able to cool through and through. Because if you, if you keep them in your muffin tin, what will happen is, as they are cooling down, they will begin to sweat and then your yeast rolls will become soggy. So you don't want that. So as soon as you get a chance, as soon as you take them out the oven, go right ahead and put them on 
a rack so they can thoroughly cool. The air can circulate all the way around them and up under them. Yeah. Put them just like this. Oh, Lord, there. Ooh, pretty warm, pretty warm. Ooh, okay. Oh, all righty. Let me take these. Oh, Jesus. Mm. Smells so good. You know what? I'll tell you something. It's nothing like the smell of fresh bread. And these are the two. Remember, I had 14. These are the two that, uh, oh, I don't even know if I put butter on those. Yeah, I ended up with 14, remember? So these are the two that that uh, were by themselves. So you can, you don't necessarily need a, a tin pan, um, a muffin pan if you don't want to. You can just, you can just put them separate, just like this here on a sheet pan and bake them off. But I like doing the, the muffin pan because it just gives it a nice, even, round presentation. I, that's how I look at it anyway. So, this is it. Now, okay, this is for the test test. All righty, all right. Let me see, which one am I going to get? This one right here. Ooh, Lordy, this is hot. I'm not going to break it open. I'm going to kind of like cut it a little bit. Ooh, because it is hot. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. See how beautiful that dough is? Oh my gosh, let me put some butter on it. Ooh, let me go in here with some butter. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right, y'all. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, mmm. Mmm. Mmm, my lord. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. You know what? Mm. Mm. Delicious. Homemade yeast rolls. Mm -mm -mm. I love it. Mm. Well, listen, guys, I'm going to end this video. And please subscribe to my channel. I want to get as many subscribers as possible. And remember, send me some Christmas cards. Go to my description box and you'll find exactly where to send them because I would love to share them with my seniors. They would just love that. And I thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful day. And I will see you guys on the next Good Eats. Ha! <laughs> Yes, I will. All right, now I gotta go.